All right. You guys should be able to hear me. Uh, if there's ever any problems with that, let me know. But otherwise, welcome to the stream. This is uh, my second stream of the day. I went and did the first four Colossus and Shadow the Colossus earlier. So uh, I figured we would come back and uh, try to finish up the rest of the game, uh, or most of it anyway. So, um, <clears throat> so like I said, we beat the first four. This time we're going to go ahead and play through the last um, 12 probably we might get through only eight of them though depending on how long it takes so let's just get on into it all right so we're fighting the fifth colossus uh this is one of my favorite ones i am i'm a big fan of this colossus i think he's super fun um last time i had a timer on the screen uh because i was keeping track of how long it takes me to beat them and i'm not gonna bother with that this time i don't really think it's that important this is, uh, this is actually, this one was probably the first one I saw that really made me think, oh, they mean, like, anything can be a valid Colossus, and it's, it's a cool one. It's a really, really, really cool one. Sorry, I don't have much to say. Um, there really isn't that much to say, honestly. Um, other than to just kind of appreciate the beauty of this world. It's it's a cool place. Oh, whoops, what the heck? And um, in many ways, and I was talking about this earlier, uh, actually. In many ways, this world kind of reminds me of Death Stranding, um, in a sense, because... Like, just looking at the cliffs, for example, and, like, the sort of the atmosphere, there's a lot of Death Stranding that kind of resembles this atmosphere very closely, actually. So it's kind of unique that... Well, it's, it's unique and it's not unique, because I think the game looks a lot like Death Stranding, but I almost wonder if, since this game is so much older, I wonder if Death Stranding was, like, heavily inspired... Um, by this. I know I know it had a lot of inspiration from like Icelandic sort of land structures, uh, but I don't really know if it was super interesting or super derived from any other games. And I don't really think that Shadow of the Colossus I don't really think the world was inspired by anybody else or, or any specific location, so I don't know. Um, I'd have to look that up. There's a lot I actually don't know about this game. So I was talking about doing a live stream of uh, Death Stranding one day, but I think I'm actually going to switch over, and uh, after I beat this game on stream, I'm going to switch over to um, The Last Guardian, because I've only ever played that game one time. And part of the reason why I only played that game once is because I didn't like it that much, actually. It was fun. Like, the story was cool. It was extremely cool, but I thought the gameplay was a little lackluster. It was a unique concept, and it's going to have kind of a special place in my heart just because I think that uh, it's a really cool design. But I, I would say that, uh, as in general, the game was a, a big letdown for a lot of people. It certainly was for me, just because it, it really just did not quite meet the mark of, of what I was hoping I would see um, out of that game. But anyways, uh, getting back to Shadow of the Colossus, we are on the fifth Colossus. Another game I was talking about also doing was, um, was Dark Souls, talking about doing the uh, PlayStation 4 remaster. If I get enough support for that, I totally will do that. Uh, that game is rage-inducing, and I love it, but it's rage-inducing. So I won't do it all the time. Um, I'll probably keep that to like one stream a week, probably. And I've never actually beaten the game either. That's kind of something else I've been 
keep in. Uh, I've played a lot of like the first maybe third or so of the game, but I haven't played much else outside of it. So this Colossus is kind of notorious for being um, super trolly. I love the waves. They actually have like really good water effects. Looks so good. So, we're actually going to go for... Ooh. We're going to go for the weak point that's on its tail way back here. Hey, Tyler, what's going on? How are you doing? Glad you came to watch the stream. Hope you're going to have a good time. We're going to try to beat this game tonight. Giant enemy crab? <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> What I'm doing, my dude. All right. Of course, this is funny. The physics, there is no way in hell I'd just be able to walk across the back of this Colossus like this <laughs> if this was real physics. Yeah, I might be just a little young to, to know what you're referring to. I was talking to my mom about this earlier today, but like, it feels unreal that I'm going to be 23 years old in August. Like, that makes me feel old, even though I'm not actually that old. It just like, it makes me feel that way. We're nearly there. This one's one of the quicker ones. This is a this is a significantly shorter Colossus to kill. I think the only thing about this one that kind of sucks is that it's kind of a game of stamina management more than anything else. Because I could actually fall off here if I'm not careful. There we go. Never mind. Oh yeah, I didn't watch the E3 reveal of um, of the PS3 when that came out in 2006. I do know that um, when the PS3 was announced, uh, they priced it at like $600. I feel like I'm gonna have to look up this trailer. Giant crab. That's hilarious. Also, Death Spaghetti. Also, I know it's still like a big work in progress. I still have a lot of work to do to get this set up. But what do you think of the overall uh, stream layout? Is the um, is the chat text box too big? Does it take up too much space? It was the 60 gigabyte model. Okay, that's what I thought it was. And like the 40 gigabyte was like 450, I think. Just search for giant enemy crab. I I will take a look at that real quick. It was the second Google search. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm gonna have to look this. Look at this now.
<laughs> oh man, that was priceless. That was very that was well worth looking up. That was so funny. Just this giant crab just leaped out of nowhere. That was absurd. I love it. All right, so we are on the sixth one now. This is a fun one. This is a really fun one. Coincidentally, we're actually going to pass by the arena for the 13th Colossus as we're heading on the way to this one. This one is um, this one's a cool one. It's it's got one of the coolest. Um, like stylizations I've ever seen for for an enemy before, and I love it. Uh, except I'm trying to remember how to get there. I think it's just straight through this forest. So yeah, I, I actually am like a big fan of the idea of moving on to The Last Guardian after I beat this because that one will be a little bit more of an experience um, than this one because I've only beaten that game one time. I've sat down and tried to play it before, but um, I don't know. I, I, I could only get myself to beat it one time, and I think that if I was doing it on stream with other people watching me like struggle through it, it might be a little bit more entertaining to watch. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if this is the right way. This certainly doesn't look like it's the right way. Uh, no, this is not the right way. Oh, come on now. Really? You're going to move this slow? <sighs> Fuck it, we're on my foot for now. <laughs> it's been this long since I've done this, like, partially blind, that I really, like, just do not remember what's going on. Oh, this is an interesting area. This is not the area we were supposed to be heading to. But this is cool. I forgot about this little area. So, I think it's, I don't think it's this way. I really don't. Oh, you know what, though? I think that this is actually a little Easter egg down here. Aha, this is an Easter egg. Check this out. So, this is a barrel from The Last Guardian, which is really cool. Oh! Cool, I got a trophy for that. That's so cool. Find barrel and hidden cave. Wow, that's so cool. I didn't know that was a trophy. Okay, cool. Well, we accidentally went trophy hunting. <laughs> oh, and there's one more thing I'm actually thinking about streaming as well. And uh, that is... Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, because I love that game. It's so good. It's I wouldn't say it's like the best remake of a game they've ever done, but it is pretty close. It's really super good. Maybe it is this way, and I'm just losing my mind. Well, screw it. Let's go this way, because uh, ugh, I don't know what I'm doing. And I just accidentally hit him with my sword. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, get out of the yeah. woods. Yeah. You know, we're just going to do this on foot again for a little while. We'll get aggro back whenever we need him. How about that?
Yeah, he's just stuck over there. We're just going to go on foot for now. You know, this might be the right way. It's been so long, like I said. That way, though. Hmm. I feel like I'm just forgetting something here. Where's Agra is just stuck. Um, let's see. We're just going for a little bit of an exploration here. This is cool. I've never actually, like, checked out this area before. What is this? Huh. More to this than I thought. I'm gonna have to, like, one day just sit down and explore. Kind of what I kind of what I enjoy just doing. That's part of the reason I enjoyed this game and Death Stranding so much, is that even though there, like, wasn't actually that much stuff to do in either one of those games, necessarily, like in this game or the other game, Death Stranding, like, there was enough stuff to still keep me relatively entertained. Okay, so Agro, let's try this again. I feel like... I feel like I must have just taken the wrong path or something, because I know for sure, for sure, I have I thought I was heading the right way. Okay, well now I know for sure I'm heading in generally the right way, because there is a uh, shrine here, and I know that, or at least I'm pretty sure that this shrine leads kind of in the direction of the cave we're looking for. Hmm. I'm gonna go on foot for a little bit more here. Yes, there is a very specific area that we're kind of looking for. Whoa. This is an open area I've never seen before. I can't see much. You know, I think I probably have seen this area before, and I just don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know where Agro went. Oh, there's the temple. I am losing my mind. I'm pretty sure this is actually like where we came out of. <laughs> it is kind of like Zelda, but more realistic. You're you're kind of right there. Also, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Yeah. Yeah, let's try this again. So we need to head this way. So, if I can find my way to the next area, um, which I can't seem to remember how to do, uh, we're going to try to beat this game today. Heavy Rain? Oh, I can probably do that, actually. I love Heavy Rain. That is one of my favorite PlayStation 3 games. Pretty sure I can uh, pick that up on the PlayStation 4 store for, like, 20 bucks or something. If that's if that's what you want, I'll I'll gladly play that next because that's a that's a super fun game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, finally got the horse over here. So I I don't know if this is the right way. I think it is. I think there's a cave over here to our left that we go through. Yeah. This horse is a little obnoxious. Oh yeah, this is definitely it. Because there should be a desert right out here. 
Yep, here's the blinding desert. So that area right over there, kind of to the far left, that's actually where we're going to fight one of the Colossus. And then there's another Colossus that we're heading to right over here. So I was going the right way the whole time. <laughs> Go figure. So I'm going to try to play some Switch games as well. Um as they come out um, in the future. So, but I need to upgrade my recording setup so that I can um, play my Switch. I actually need to get a different monitor that has a, an auxiliary output so I can do that. But once I do that, I I, uh, I might actually play Breath of the Wild on Master Mode or something um, because Breath of the Wild is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm looking forward to that sequel, too. I really want that sequel something bad. Hey, we rolled through there. I didn't know you could do that. Alright, here we go. This dude has the most rockin' beard. Ah. All right, here we go. I uh, I actually haven't played the DLC, but I've heard that the Breath of the Wild DLC is super good. Um, I beat the game on normal mode, but. Yeah, I've, I've heard that the Master Mode is super hard, and I really want to play the Champion's Ballad DLC, because I've heard that the, the boss, the final boss there is really tough, and they add like 12 or 13 new shrines in like a new dungeon or something like that. Like, there's quite a bit in that, apparently. I've heard it's really good. So, here we are. So this dude is tough. Um, he obviously just hit me pretty hard there. Although, that's it's unusual that I get hit by this dude. But he can hit you hard. Especially, you know, since we're playing on hard mode. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So, there's actually, um, I think it's one additional weak point on this dude, and it's in kind of an interesting area. It's on his hand. So, we're going to take out that one first, um, assuming he'll cooperate. I feel like the AI on hard mode is, like, legitimately hard. Okay, cool. Normally, I would take this one out last, but um, this one's going to be one of the more annoying ones, so I'd rather take this one out first, just so we don't have to worry about it. One more, I think. I don't know, though. This dude normally only has two weak points. Um, there's normally one on his head and one on his back. Okay, cool. So we did get that one. So now we have to kind of get him to cooperate with us again.
go. There we go. This dude is so cool. This dude's name is Barba. They actually all have different names. Um, of course, I don't know all of them off the top of my head. But I, I'm pretty sure this one's name is Barba. This is an unfortunate camera angle with him trapped against the wall like this. Although this kind of works out for us because he can't shake his head. So if you try to shoot his eyes, they'll just bounce off his eyes, but whenever he's angry, his eyes actually change color. So whenever he's um, kind of just standing there and not doing anything, his eyes will be blue. But when he's mad at you and sort of aggroed onto you, his eyes are orange, which is pretty dope. So I think we got him pretty easily here. It just took a little while for us to find him. Um, actually, it's funny you mentioned the thing about his eyes, though, because there is one that does require you to shoot him in the eyes. Oh, and Chase, whenever we get to a specific boss... Uh, I think you're going to really like it because um, it's just like the final boss of the Water Temple in uh, Twilight Princess. So I think you're going to have a ton of fun watching me fight that one. Well, it's not just like it, but it is very close. There are some very similar mechanics. Tyler, I like that, uh, that text you just sent. All right, so that is number six. I can't remember which one number seven is all of a sudden. We'll find out. Oh, actually, it's the next one. So pay attention to this one, Chase. This one's one of my favorites, and I think you're going to like this one. So yeah, I'm I'm thinking we'll probably we'll probably be able to play through most of this game tonight, assuming I don't get lost again. <laughs> um So if you don't want spoilers. Oh no, it's it's not Ocarina Water Temple, no. It's uh, it's Twilight Princess Water Temple. Um 
Yes, the Ocarina Water Temple was awful. I do remember that boss. Um, anyway. I can't even remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to be able to play through probably most of this game tonight just because I, I know so much of this game by heart. I think maybe my favorite thing about this game is that it's like the area, like the areas are just super diverse. I'm like, here's a map, by the way, so you can see what I'm talking about. But like this area, is, th this is a big, big world. So we've seen four different areas so far. No, I'm sorry. Technically six different areas. Um, and we're on our way to the seventh, which is kind of up there in what is that? 1E, e, the 1E e quadrant. The only thing that I wish this game had put in occasionally was uh, some music that you could hear while you're doing traversal. Although there is something kind of nice about the solitude that you feel just you on a horse exploring the world. And honestly, the music that you hear during the, the boss fights is pretty spectacular as it stands, so that kind of makes up for, for everything else. Man, I forgot just how pretty this game really is. It's been so long since I've uh, gotten the chance to really appreciate this game. So, we are approaching the arena for this dude. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure there's only... There's only one Colossus that you fight that's, like, in a proper desert. All of the rest of them aren't really, uh, in the desert area. But yeah, here we are. And, you know, it's, it's interesting. I kind of want to know... A little bit about the just world like well, what was here at one point you know what are these structures and what were they what were they supposed to be but anyway here we are lads Alright, are you ready for this? Here we go. Oh boy, here we go. So, coincidentally, this one is also decidedly a pretty tough fight on hard mode. Yeah, he's cool, isn't he? I love this dude. He is he is a badass boss fight. But he's he is really tricky. Um, the main thing that makes him so tricky is that he has electricity. And if you're not careful, this will really, really, really hurt you. He looks a lot better in this version of the game as opposed to the PlayStation 2 version. The PS2 version, he looked kind of like crap. 
honestly. So, the thing that makes this dude really tough in hard mode is that uh, this is a game of stamina management at this point. It's less about dealing damage to him and a lot more about just making your way up there to him. Um, he's constantly dragging you underwater and it makes it difficult to get up close to him. The other thing that makes it difficult to get close to him is these electrodes. Anytime they go underwater, they shock you. However, you can sort of negate the effects of them if you get up to them and you strike them. It also deals a little bit of damage to him, coincidentally. However, he is on a little bit of a time limit, so you have to do this really quickly or else he will go back underwater and you won't be able to get up to his head where his weak point is. Is he 745 KV? You know? Good question. He might be. He might be. Oh, shit. Okay, so we didn't get the chance to one phase him, unfortunately. Because he, uh, he decided to shock me off of his head before I could attack him. Tyler, what do you think? Do you think he's a 745 KV monster? <laughs> See, and like, even though this dude has weapons, like, he wasn't ever doing anything wrong. So it, it really makes me feel conflicted to sort of call this a, a bad guy because he's really not doing anything. He's just kind of swimming. I have a theory about the world. I have a theory that there, uh, like, was a race of some sort of race, you know, some sort of humans or, or human-like people who lived in these forbidden lands that Wonder's in. And they worshipped Dorman, and they thought he was a good god, and... He probably, maybe at one point, was a good god, and then something corrupted him, and somehow the locals of this area, you could call them, they split him up into 16 fragments. Um, and these are the 16 fragments that we're killing. Now, I really wish they were able to have um, gotten some other Colossus in this game, because like I said, there was supposed to be 48 of them, which is a lot. That's like a huge number of enemies, which for a PlayStation 2 game is really ambitious. That's a really, really ambitious thing that they went for. And unfortunately, um, they could only get the 16, but they had eight more like, really far into development, and they never got their AI developed, apparently. But they apparently were, like, super close to having them finished and, like, good to go. This is not good. You won't let me hit him. There we go, finally. Finally, getting some hits in. Probably two more hits? Yeah, we just need one more. There we go. Got him. So what are the types we've seen? We've seen two of them on two legs, one of them on four legs, uh, a flyer, 
and an underwater. So we've seen seven so far. Uh, no, I'm sorry. We've seen two on two legs, two on four legs, a flyer. Um, no, three on two legs. Yeah, three on two legs, a flyer, an underwater, and then two on four legs. So believe it or not, there's still a lot more left. And thank you, dude. And we have been attacked by the Death Spaghetti. So, we're moving on to number eight now. The problem that I have with number eight... Well, not so much a problem, but... The thing with number eight is that... Um, it's a little more annoying... It's a pretty easy one, but this one redefines a little bit of what you might think as a Colossus. And you'll see what I mean when we get there. This one's a cool one, too. This one actually has weapons that really have the ability to hurt you pretty good. Um, whereas a lot of these, I mean, they've had weapons that'll hurt you, but... None of them have been especially volatile unless provoked. This one, while similar, this one clearly is much more aggressive. And that's what makes this one pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Okay, so he's that way. can't wait for the PlayStation 5, because I wonder... There's been rumors that we could maybe see a sequel to this game. And I feel like if they're going to make a sequel to this game, the, the PlayStation 5 would have to be the console it goes on. Plus, I just can't wait to see what like that next generation technology is going to be like. I've been eagerly awaiting play something in the PlayStation 5 category. Uh, I don't remember going this way to get to this boss. I feel like I screwed up again. <laughs> Which I could have. Oh, what the? Come on. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I know where we're going now.
Well, I thought. <laughs> Okay. Yep, I know where we're going. So, you don't eat anything in this game. The, the gameplay is really simple in this game. It's a lot less about the, the gameplay and a whole lot more about the story in this game. Um, basically, just to re regenerate stamina, you just have to sit there and wait. And that, that basically is all there is to it. Just sit there and then just wait for it to respawn um, naturally. Um, really the only gameplay there is in this game is just riding your horse and then the Colossus, and that's really it. There's not much else to it. I, I gotta be getting close to this thing now. Aha! There it is. So this is best done by foot. Yeah, I mean, I actually, I would have loved it if they somehow expanded on this and made it, made this open world have more stuff to do, you know, like add in some NPC somewhere with a side quest. I almost fell off. <laughs> um, and, you know, introduce a stamina system that's a little bit more cohesive than this one, you know, stuff like that. But I still think this game is perfect, just as it stands. Also, look at how pretty this area is. This area looks so good. Nice little hidden away area. Again, like, I want to know what this is. I want to know, wh like, what I'm looking at. So I'm going to see if I can get this to happen. This is kind of cool if it'll work. Yeah, there we go. We're holding on to a fish. <laughs> of course, he's not going very fast, but we're holding on to a fish. Anyway. Where do I go? Here we are. And here we go. So, the thing about this boss fight, um, this is by far the most sort of volatile of the Colossi that we've fought so far. Um, he's not the most dangerous one, like, of all, but he is pretty dangerous. Um, and I'd recommend that you keep your distance at least a little bit while you're fighting this dude. The good news is... Cobb silently. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm working on it. Uh Oh, come on, bro.
I don't know why you can't throw bits. Um, I don't know. I, I I probably just don't have it all set up properly, to tell you the truth. So, I might actually need your help setting that up. Okay, cool. So. I have heard of Rhyme. Um, this game is actually inspired, uh, or not this game, uh, Rhyme is actually kind of inspired by this game um, and its art style. I played through a good chunk of Rhyme. Um, I never beat it, though. I have it on my PC. Maybe I'll try playing that sometime once I get my good computer set up. I think I've decided I like this enough that I'm going to keep doing streams occasionally, hopefully a couple times a week. Tonight is sort of the startup for my streaming career, so to speak. Ooh, shit. Okay. That was pretty good. We didn't get rid of everything. But we did pretty good there. That could have been a lot worse. Let's see, where are you? Oh god, I just took a lot of damage because I forgot to grab. That could have been really bad. Okay. Try this again. I might have to three cycle this dude. Yeah, I'm gonna have to three cycle this dude. Yep, sure enough. All right, three cycle. No, he killed me. Are you kidding me? I got caught under his bullshit. That's not fair. Well, where's it going to make me retry? Okay, just from the boss. Can I get an F in the chat for that? Gosh. That was the dumbest thing. I can't believe I died to that. That was just dying from stupidity. That wasn't even dying from something that like made sense to die from. That was literally me dying from like a leaf falling on me or something like that. That was incredibly stupid. Yes, that was a fail. You're 100% right. That was a big time fail. 
You know, I'm not even going to have enough time to hit him. He's just going to flip right on over. Sure enough, that wasn't even worth it. God, that was frustrating. Let's climb all the way to the top of this tower and do it once again. Where are you? Come on, man. Don't do that to me already. Hello. Uh, where are you going? There we go. Okay. This one should go a little better. There we go. It'll probably help if I actually get lined up in the middle of the sigil as well. I'm not gonna get greedy about this. I'm gonna take that as my last hit and then start my way back up this tower. Oh, yeah. That's a cool boss. I actually really liked that game. Twilight Princess, aside from Breath of the, Wa the Wild, which Breath of the Wild is my favorite um, Zelda game, I would say that Twilight Princess is a pretty close second. I really, really enjoy that game. Okay. Where are you? he's going to do. Oh no. I am caught in the poison. How's it going? Luke RSC and Alex Z? I'm assuming that's how you say that. How are you guys doing? Crafty Gaming 88 face something I don't know how to pronounce and then Gubby Scarlet. Thanks for coming over. Nice to uh, nice to have some extra viewers. How are you guys doing? Where are you? No, literally, where are you? Oh, hey, there you are. Huzzah. Just for he threw us in here. <laughs> well, hey, thanks for joining, guys. I appreciate uh, you guys hopping in. We're just casually playing some Shadow the Colossus. We're playing it on hard mode. You guys actually just missed, like, the dumbest death of all time. So glad you guys could make it. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream.
I'll be doing this uh, probably two or three times weekly. Um, the next game that I'm going to play will be Heavy Rain by request of uh, Tyler Walls20 in the chat. This is the most viewers I've ever had. Thank you guys so much. This is, like, really awesome. Thank you. Yeah, Captain Kid is really awesome. He's uh, he's actually one of my best friends. I've I've known him for a really long time. Um, me and him actually went to kindergarten together. He is really a great dude, and uh, he's a great guy. I love him. Have I played Persona 5 slash Royal? I have played the original Persona 5, and I have started Persona 5 Royal. I only have made it through Kamashita's Callus, or bleh, Kamashita's Palace as of now. Um, I took a break from it so I could play Final Fantasy 7 Remake. What the heck? Um, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, which is great. Um, I would highly recommend you guys play that game. I'm hoping I can make some content with uh, with Captain Kid sometime, because um, he's he's just super talented at what he does, and he he creates really awesome content. Um, hope I have a lot to learn from him, that's for sure. Oh no, where are you going? Yeah, Persona Five is a great game. Um, it's, it's super, super good. It's my favorite JRPG. Um, the only game that rivals that is Final Fantasy X. So, yeah, I mean, I, I would be totally down to play some Persona 5 Royal if you guys want to see me stream that at some point. But um, just understand that I'm not going to start the game over. <laughs> That's a lot of progress I'd have to redo. And my current playthrough I'm doing, I'm actually doing a 100% Confidant run. So, it's uh, going to take a little bit of time to do that. <laughs> wow, I'm really not going to kill him. I have to do it one more time. Well, if you guys don't mind um, watching me uh, from where I'm currently at in Persona 5 Royal, then I'll, I'll totally do that for my next stream as well. I'll, I'll do kind of a mix of uh, maybe the beginning of Heavy Rain, and then I'll continue from where I am in Persona 5 Royal, if that sounds good. Uh, where is this dude? So how many of you guys have played this game before? Because this is, um, this is also one of my favorite games of all time. I'm gonna have to do, like, a definitive top ten list. Squirtle1230, thank you for joining. How are you doing? How's everybody doing? Tell me how you're doing. Okay, I think we finally got him. <laughs> it took way longer than it should have taken for me to kill this dude. Good luck on 100% con- Yeah, I know. It's really tough. Um, I'm following a guide, but apparently it's- It's really, uh, tough, and sometimes it's a little bit luck-based as well, because sometimes you'll get random events that give you extra- um, confidant points and stuff like that. Oh, come on. One more hit. Finally. Let's go. Ugh. 
I do have a YouTube channel, um, but it doesn't have a lot of stuff. It actually might not have anything on it right now. Um, let me double check that. I have been really inactive for a really long time, and I just graduated college, so I wanted to try to get back into making content. Um, let's see here. Actually, yeah, if you go to Cobb Sanity Gaming, you can subscribe to me there, but I'll also go ahead and drop the link in the chat for you guys. There you go. So feel free to go and subscribe to that. Um, I'm going to try to pull some funny moments from from this and uh, upload it there. There's some really old videos on there, like a really old Let's Play I did a while back of Final Fantasy X um, and Shadow of the Colossus. So feel free to go and watch all that. It's pretty legacy um, content I haven't uploaded in like a year. Uh, what's my major? Um, electrical engineering. I went to Oklahoma State University uh, with an emphasis in power and energy distribution. It was tough. <laughs> I actually didn't know that. Thank you. I, I appreciate you letting me know that. I didn't realize that's what you need to unlock the third semester. So mechanical engineering is a really, really popular degree. I wouldn't say that it's necessarily an easier degree, but um, electrical engineering, from my experience, is very difficult, but it is rewarding. You get uh, a really good education at Oklahoma State University. There's a lot of really great professors there. You go through a lot of really great labs. Um, but... I should tell you that if you're going to go to mechanical engineering, it's starting to look like a little bit of a saturated market and electrical engineering is still very developing. So I would say electrical engineering, if you're looking purely for job prospects, is going to be your better, your better approach, probably. That's what I would go with anyway. Also, thank you for the uh, for the subscription. Squirtle1230 on my YouTube channel. Uh, this is my first time streaming in a very long time. I streamed, like, back in high school a long, long time ago. Um, I, uh, just yesterday decided, eh, I'm gonna try to get into streaming, um, occasionally. So, I have that, um, kind of just going my way. I don't even know where I'm going right now, by the way. I wasn't paying any attention. Oh, I know where I'm going. Um... This is my first stream in a very long time, so um, I'll gladly take whatever kind of critiques you guys might have, um, because I've got a lot to learn. I spent a little bit of time earlier just screwing around with the audio, so if the game audio sounds okay, or if it doesn't, let me know. I can raise and lower things as needed. Top three favorite games? Oh boy, that's a tough one. This is one of my top three. Um, Shadow of the Colossus is the first PlayStation 2 game I ever played. So what are my other two? I gotta think about that. That's tough. Because Persona 5, not the royal version because I haven't finished it yet, but just the original Persona 5 definitely is a contender for that. And so is, um, so is Final Fantasy X. Um, those are two of my favorite JRPGs, but I feel like it would be kind of weird to have two JRPGs be in my top three favorites. So between those two, probably Persona 5 would be up there. And then, what else? Oh, duh. This is easy. Uh, my other favorite is um, Breath of the Wild. I'd, I don't know why I thought about that for so long. I put in like 160 hours into that game, and I loved, loved, loved Breath of the Wild. Although I haven't played the DLC yet, so I'm going to do that sometime soon. Um, if I can get my streaming set up just a little bit more, I'll, I'll buy the Zelda DLC and I'll play that on stream sometime too. Oops. Let's 
see. Smash Ultimate, Animal Crossing, New Horizons, and Persona 5 Royal. Those are, yeah, those are good. Um, what other games do I play? I play a little bit of everything, man. Um, I have a PS4 and a Switch, and then I've got this super powerful laptop that I've got. So, um, on the Switch, my, like, top three most played games are, uh, Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. That is a fantastic game. Um... Smash Ultimate is probably the second game I play the most, and right now, the other game that I pr play a lot is Animal Crossing New Horizon. Um, on my PlayStation 4, uh, I have all of the different Soulsborne games, and I'm really bad at them, <laughs> but I play those all the time. I'm actually on the final boss in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, and it is brutal. That is a tough game. Yeah, you know, I kind of agree. Um, Breath of the Wild is really good, but it is really challenging to get back into. Um, what I discovered is, after I beat the main story, I wanted to go back and get all 120 shrines, and I've got, like, I think 98 of them. But what I found is that, like, I took, like, a solid three months off of that game, and then I discovered, um, you know, going back into it, that made the world feel a little bit new, and that was a really great thing for me, personally. What time do you tend to stream? Man, I don't know. This is my first stream I've ever done. Um, uh, well, not ever, but in a very long time. So I'm currently working on a schedule right now. It's taking a little bit of time for me to um, get this set up because I want to get, um, I want to make sure that I've got um, everything set up on the Twitch channel correctly. Um, one of my friends noticed that apparently people can't give bits and people can't subscribe for some reason. So I want to get those things figured out. Um, I'm thinking about streaming two or three days a week right now. Since I'm on my summer break before I start my full-time job, I'm thinking about doing um, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Um, something probably at night. Probably not this late at night all the time, but I'm going to try um, for three or four hour streams when I can help it. I'm going to try to make them multi-game streams, too. Um, I love The Binding of Isaac, so I'll definitely um, make an attempt to stream that when possible. Just because that game is one of my favorites. But yeah, I'm, I'm super new to this thing. Hmm. You know, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not partnered, so that that would probably explain why I can't get bits and subscribers. That, that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, so Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, does that sound good to you guys? Because if you guys are down, I'll I'll try to pin that up um, somewhere on my page with a specific time, and I'll, I'll even try to post some schedules for uh, games that you can expect to see. Also, this guy's being super obnoxious right now. So I saw that Captain Kid was, uh, he got Raymond on his island, which is pretty cool. A, that's a cool villager. He was, uh, he was doing what? He was, like, having people pay to see him or something like that. Thank you, Alex. I really appreciate that. Um, Alex Z, I'm not sure how you say that. It's really helped to uh, bring the stream to life a little bit, to have a little bit more of a crowd. I'm very thankful for Captain Kid for sending you guys over. You got $125? <laughs> That's hilarious. That is so funny. <laughs> I tried watching a bunch of his stream, but naturally, um, my internet decided it wanted to act like crap. Okay, are you really just not going to step over this geyser? Yeah, I know he's really popular. He's, uh... He's, like, definitely the most popular new villager they've added to the game. 
my favorite villager of all time managed to make it onto uh, managed to make it onto my island, and that is Wolfgang. He was in um, in my Wild World playthrough on the DS. I think I played that game something like I have no idea. I think I played that game ten years ago. One of the mods gave him Raymond. That's hilarious. Okay, finally, he got it. Oh, move out of the way, aggro! Okay, fine. There we go. Whew. How bad is it buffering? Pretty bad. Ugh. I don't know what to do then. It looks fine on my end. Um, my internet seems to be going just fine right now. It says I'm still connected. Um, if it gets really bad, let me know and I'll uh, I'll do what I can. I might have to go reset the Wi-Fi if it gets really bad. this boss by the way this is by far one of my least favorite it's fine on your end okay it might just be your internet then gorilla Sorry I'm not saying much, by the way, I'm trying to focus right now. <laughs> this is no joke. Also, for those of you who uh, joined just a little while ago to catch you up on what I'm doing right now, we're playing through the entirety of Shadow of the Colossus tonight. Um, I had one small stream earlier where I played through the first four Colossus, and uh, now we're going to play through um, 5 through 16. And we are... Uh, currently on number nine, so we are over halfway through the game. This one is probably one of the most difficult of the Colossus, honestly. He is no joke. He is a really challenging Colossus. Favorite letter? Are you talking, like, just favorite alphabetical letter? Um. Hmm. You know... I really like uh, intense gamer focus. I really like the letter X. Hey, we did it. Um, I really like the letter X. Uh, part of the reason why is because um, X is super um, critical to uh, a lot of the names in uh, Kingdom Hearts with Organization 13. And uh, you know what? I didn't even think about that. That's another one of my games that should be in my like top three list but it isn't also it's the death spaghetti um kingdom hearts is awesome i love that series to death and i think that that one should be in my list but yeah i would say the letter x is probably my favorite letter
I just have to say thank you guys for, you know, tuning in and checking the stream out. I really appreciate it. I, uh, in the past, I've never had more than, I think, three or four people hop in, so it's really awesome that you guys joined in. X is a cool letter. Yeah, especially in math. You're not wrong. Yeah. The other thing about engineering, by the way, Luke, um, since you said you're a W kind of guy, that's pretty cool. Um, the other thing about engineering that you keep that you have to keep in mind, at least when I was in school, I had to take um, three different calculus classes, a differential equations class, and a linear algebra class, along with um, several different circuit theory kind of classes that all derived from differential equations. So be be warned. You have a lot of math your way, like a lot of math coming your way. Okay, well that's good because you're you're going to get to witness a lot of math. This sounds like <laughs> Yeah, uh, my first two years of engineering were nuts. There was a lot of math classes that they required us to take pretty early on. Oh man, where is this one? I think I know where this one is. Yeah, I think I know where this one is. Dude, same. I I cannot code to save my life, and I had to take a full year of a coding class. They gave me um, Java as my coding language, and it is the worst. Well, not really, but it, it's bad. Yeah, MATLAB is tough. I'm not a huge MATLAB fan myself. And in all reality, I barely used it for any kind of practical application. Like, with my Capstone course, I never had to use it. As a matter of fact, with my Capstone course, I didn't have to use that much. Do you know how weird it is watching a stream on a gaming console? I bet it is pretty weird, isn't it? <laughs> Oops. Come on. I actually don't remember where we're going. It's been like mm, five or six months since I've played this game, so I'm a little rusty. Okay, so we're going this way. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, you know, most of my engineering professors didn't force me to use MATLAB. When I took a um, network analysis course, which is basically a um, it's a circuits two course talking about like filter analysis, um, we had to do our final project largely in MATLAB, and that was pretty rough. It was no fun. And really, the thing that made it the most difficult was that they made us um, take real data and then compare it to the simulated data that we made in MATLAB, and like none of it made any sense. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet it is weird, because we're playing a PlayStation 4 game, and you're watching it from an Xbox. That probably does look a little weird, doesn't it?
Also, this is the Colossus I always get super lost on trying to find. So, we're going to do it. Oh, yeah, and yes, Luke, it was awful. 100% awful. I was not a fan at all of the um, of that of that class. The only other real time that we ever used MATLAB was in a power electronics class I took. We used it to simplify some of our calculations because the professor didn't want us doing it by hand. So he actually gave us like a MATLAB script that he already wrote and then just had us modify it by changing certain numbers out. So, and I know this probably isn't like the most interesting like topic in the world for a gaming stream, but anyway, um, I found it super helpful in times. I found that MATLAB can be helpful, but otherwise, MATLAB is not like a legitimate coding language in my eyes. Stuck with this curse of a console. <laughs> Top five most confusing moments. Yeah, yeah, I bet. That does... Yeah, I'm trying to remember. When did that happen? Or was that exclusive to the Royal version? It's been a long time since I've played Persona 5. Where am I going? <laughs> thank you, Gorilla, and thank you, Luke. I really appreciate it. Um, I've never had a lot of success doing this, and I'm super thankful that I've got some people who are genuinely interested, so thank you. And thank you, Captain Kid, for joining in. How's it going? Glad that you could come out and check out the stream. Oops. Gonna get distracted. Oh, come on. Nope, we're hopping off. Bye, aggro. We're not putting up with this. Hi, Cubed Max. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having fun. Luke couldn't figure out how to do a Calc 1 test. Dude, I won't lie. My first Calc 1 test, I got a 62% on it. I did horrible on it. And honestly, I found that Calc 1 was actually pretty hard. <laughs> That's just me, though. I'm also an idiot. Where are we going? I act like I know what I'm doing here. Okay, lay down your defense. I want to hear your defense. Yes, this is Shadow of the Colossus. It's Doc Donk. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing all right. This is the PS4 remake of it. This came out in 2018. Aha, I found it. None of that was a coverage of the whole semester. It looked like two units. Oh, ah, I know this one. By the way, I apologize for the... Uh, the camera quality. Um, I pulled this camera out of my closet several weeks ago because I'm working from home um, with my part-time technician job. And um, they wanted us to have webcams so we could do video conferencing and stuff. And uh, I couldn't order one because due to the pandemic, all webcams like sold out everywhere. So I just had to pull out this garbage one. So, sorry. <laughs>
Swordle, welcome back. And thank you, Cubed. Alright. Welcome to... Oops. One of the coolest bosses. Uh, no, there is a little bit of a delay. I think there's, um, maybe about 20 seconds of delay. It's really bad for me for some reason. Um, so I just try to not worry about it too much. Um, it's my internet largely, I think. Yeah, it's been a while since I've taken a calc class as well. I think the last time I actually did anything, like, really calculus-related might have been during my sophomore year. And that might have been specifically for, like, Calculus 3, maybe, or... No, it wasn't for Calc 3. It was for differential equations, actually. Come on, man. Uh oh. Okay, I just have to get away. <laughs> this could be bad. Sure, we'll see you in a minute, girl. Oh my gosh, come on. Yeah, so my problem with Smash Brothers, um, I totally could and I might, is that with my current streaming setup that I have, um, I'm not actually able to hear the audio from my Switch, so I could play Smash Brothers, um, but I wouldn't be able to hear my own game. So um, I'm waiting to get a different monitor that has an auxiliary output so that I can hear the game while I'm playing it. Shit. Oh god. <sighs> yeah, if you guys are, are interested in playing, um, I will totally play some Smash Brothers. Maybe not this stream, but in a future stream. Um, once I get my setup just a little bit more beefed up. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll, I, I totally will do that. That sounds like a ton of fun. By the way, I'm pretty bad at Smash Brothers. <laughs> Just for reference. Um, Captain Kid is extremely good at Smash Brothers. He is... He could... Kick my butt backwards if he wanted to. Good lord, man, this is really proving to be difficult right now. Yeah, aim for its eyes. I know that, Sherlock. <laughs> Sorry this is taking so long, guys. I don't know why he's acting so finicky. I feel like the AI in hard mode is, like, actually smart.
I feel like I definitely hit him there. Like, I feel like I was just robbed a little bit there. Where are you? Yes, I know to aim for its eyes. <laughs> Gosh, man, I have missed this like a hundred times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's the streamer's curse. Everything is harder on camera. Worst part is we have to do this two times at least. Can I get an aim for the eyes in chat? <laughs> oh, I got it. Finally got it. That sucked. I want to become a YouTuber, but I have nothing to play because I'm poor. Um, well, I mean, one day, you know, you'll probably be able to get the kind of equipment. Honestly, when I first started doing LPing like a very long time ago, I had this like really, really cheap, like I'm not even kidding, probably $25 capture card, like the cheapest you could get on the market kind of thing. And my like very first thing was probably Super Mario Galaxy that I LP'd. With a capture card, anyway. And my very first game that I ever LP'd besides that, like, my very first game I ever played, ever, was Minecraft. Braden can attest to this, actually, or Captain Kid, or whatever he prefers to have himself called as. Because um, he watched it. It was in 2011 that I first started doing LP. Like, way back whenever YouTube first started, when it was, like, easy to get popular. And it was really super fun, actually. Like, really super incredibly fun. Oh, I got it! What? What? Where'd he go? Where did he go? Oh. Oh, so I hit him in the eyes and then it didn't work. This game is really fun. It's frustrating um, at times like this, whenever you have like the streamer's curse where you can't do anything, <laughs> but it's really fun most of the time. Um, I was explaining this earlier to some of the viewers in chat um, before the captain, the captain's crew came in, um, but I used to live stream uh, and they are robbing you here, man. Yeah, I know. I'm getting screwed here. Oh, shoot. Um, I used to live stream this game on Twitch uh, periodically way back when. Um, like on the PS3 version of this game. And I used to speedrun this game. I was bad at it, but I used to speedrun this game. Let's 
see. Am I in Florida? No, I'm in Oklahoma. Got him. And best girl, I gotta agree with you there. And is pretty great. Um, I think second best, probably Makoto. But we'll see after I play Persona 5 Royal and I get to meet the new character. I wonder if I'll be able to do this. Just two more hits, come on. Come on. Got it! Oh my gosh! That was horrible, guys. I mean, that was seriously horrible. And here comes the death spaghetti. I finally did it. <laughs> it took long enough. All right, so that was number 10. Now we're moving on to number 11, which I don't remember what this one is off the top of my head. We'll find out. Gust demons. <laughs> that's, that's probably a more technical term than death spaghetti. <laughs> on Persona 5 Royal, Alex. Um, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll make sure to get pl to play in that real soon, um, now that I've got a little bit of free time. I've heard that the, uh, the third semester is a lot of fun. Mm, I know this one. So all the people who are watching this, uh, let me know if you guys have actually played this game before or if this is your first time playing it. Because most of you guys that have been playing this are probably thinking, since it's called Shadow of the Colossus, they're all going to be big. Um, well, don't you worry. We have some surprises because not all of them are necessarily Colossus. They're, you know, these huge creatures. Um, and to answer your question, uh, I'm not quite there yet. Um, I'm over halfway through the game. Um, I've gotten screwed over a couple times. Um, that fight should have taken me two and a half minutes. I'm not even kidding, but I got really screwed over there by the streamer's curse. Never really seen that much of Shadow of the Colossus, but it intrigues me. And you've seen somebody play it forever grow, but you don't really remember much of it. Yeah, this is um, this is a game I really just think everyone should play if you have the chance. So I'm glad that you guys are able to live through the game vicariously through me. Yeah, I uh, I started playing through this game on my YouTube channel a long time ago. I think I made it through um, maybe like the sixth or seventh Colossus on there on that series that I did, but. Um, I got really busy with my senior year of school, and I got so, so, so busy that I couldn't even think about making content because um, engineering school is busy. <laughs> so I just didn't have the time to really focus on gaming that much, except if it was really um, casual. So 
this will kind of make up for that. I, I have Twitch set up to save this. So if I can, I'm going to download this VOD and I'm going to upload it over there. So you guys are um, able to see it. It is a little bit like Breath of the Wild. The world feels a lot like Breath of the Wild in many ways. Um, I was actually comparing this game a lot to Death Stranding. Um, because Death Stranding and this world actually have a lot of really similar terrain. It's just that Death Stranding has very modern terrain, whereas this has some very old-looking structures in it. Okay. So the first time I ever fought this dude, um, I thought that you could just jump down into this hole. And, um... You can't. <laughs> well, I mean, there is a little bit of water down there, but I just fell down there and died. Is it possible to do giveaways? Um, what do you mean, Squirtle? Are you talking about, like, eventually, like, me giving away like some sort of a copy of a game or something like that. Um, so I'm kind of waiting until I potentially have a bigger following. Um, since I don't have a super big fan base as of right now, um, I probably don't have necessarily the means to do that, but if I ever get popular enough, you you betcha, I'll totally do it. Yeah, Gorilla, hit me up with some sick music recommendations. Um, the music I listen to, I listen to a lot of EDM um, when I was much younger. Skrillex was my favorite artist of all time. Um, I've kind of grown past that a little bit, and I, I still listen to a lot of his music, but um, my favorite artists right now are Neck Deep. My favorite song by them is December. Um, Another one of my favorite artists is the 1975, um, and my favorite song by them is Frail State of Mind. Um, I'm also a big fan of Coldplay. I really like Guster, um, which is called kind of an alternative band. Um, and I also like kind of a little bit of everything. I'm a hu huge fan of the Beatles. I like Paul McCartney a lot. I actually got to see him live, which was awesome. Um, I saw him back in 2017, I think. Um, other than that, I, I am just a huge fan of kind of everything. Also, are you guys ready for this shit? The first time I fought this dude, oh dude, I lost my mind. Okay. This is child friendly. <laughs> yep, this is 100% child friendly. From here on, the game picks up a little bit because I mostly know what I'm doing. Um, with the past Colossus, I had a little bit of trouble um, just because it, it had been so long since I'd played the game. Here we go. Reminds you of Vort because he's so small. I can see it.
Now for the slightly more difficult part. Yeah, this is this is the difficult part. There we go. I'm gonna go serious time for just one second while I do this. Got it. Okay. Oof. That dude can be really scary. Listen to a band called Rainbow Kitten. Surprise. Listen to their album, How to Friend Love Freefall. Freefall. Blech. I'll definitely check them out. Let me add them right now to my Spotify. Rainbow Kitten Surprise, and How to Friend Love Freefall. Cool, I'll download that right now, and I will make sure to check that out. Once again, an intense gamer <laughs> focus moment. Gold Split, yeah, I know, I actually did that one quickly for once. <laughs> for somebody who claimed to be a speedrunner, I've been pretty slow throughout this. Make other live stream tomorrow. Gotta go. All right. Well, thanks for uh, checking this out, Squirtle One Two Three Zero. If I can uh, do some streaming tomorrow, I will. Otherwise, I'll try to do some on Wednesday. So, see you later, dude. Oh my god. Okay, this one... This one is the weirdest Colossus. Because it's not... Anything that you would expect. Sam, I got a Latin test tomorrow, so I gotta go. Alright, well, good luck with that, Cubed Max. I'll, uh, I'll catch you next stream, hopefully. Thanks, dude. Um, thanks for the follow. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to go with uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, tentatively. Um, but we'll see. Okay. Um, that being said, I'm still going to be on here for a long time. So for those of you who are, you know, still here... Um, you know, continue to stay and watch. I'll be playing this until the very end. I don't know where to go. <laughs> I know where to go, never mind. Oops. I'm going to butcher this. That says, Casilis no est in horto, Casilis est mortus. That sounds like something I would hear on the Unus Honest YouTube channel. How many Colossus are left? Uh, that was number 12, if I'm not mistaken. So we're doing number 13. There are four left. This is a short game. I'll see. Yes, I know. I'm pro I, I probably butchered that pronunciation super hard. 
Uh, yes, it is 1127. Where I'm located right now. I thought I was only going to be streaming till about 11. I thought I could beat this game a little quicker than that, but... Um, that is not happening. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I, I got, like, maybe a third of it pronounced right. I'll take it. I'm hoping sometime, um, maybe I can do a, uh, an Animal Crossings thing with, uh, with Captain Kid. I think that'd be a ton of fun. I'll talk to him about that. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it's a meme. Ah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oklahoma's about to get really hot, though. Yeah. Yeah. We're getting into the uh, the very warm season, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Also, we're just going to ditch our horse for this endeavor. So, I didn't have to take a Latin class. Um, the only classes I had to take let that were like foreign language classes were in high school. I had to take a Spanish class. And that was like it. We can probably ride you now. Oops. Yeah, I'm thinking um, holding an event on my island could be a lot of fun. Now, his island looks so much better than mine. Like, he, that man has put a lot of effort into it, and I can tell. Mine looks okay. I finally um, got all of my villagers moved in. Um, and I am pretty close to getting all of the upgrades on my house. One time while I was in the middle of a speed run, I uh, I don't know how I did it, but I managed to run out of stab stamina while climbing across this thing, and then I fell into the waterfall and died. <laughs> I still don't know how I did it, but it was very funny. Somewhere I might have a highlight of that, I don't know. Animal Crossing's New Horizons is so good. I also just realized I accidentally called it Animal Crossings. It's Crossing. Ah, oh, you cheater. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I don't judge. I don't do any kind of time traveling. Um, I'm very casual with it, so I haven't had a reason to do any kind of time traveling. But that's also just me. How's the live stream quality holding up, by the way? I haven't asked that in a little bit. I know somebody said that the quality was a little bit crappy earlier. Um, so just let me know if it's still holding up all right. All right, here we go. This is the weirdest one. So here we are. 
We're fighting against this thing. Whatever it is. Any guesses as to what you might call this thing? I'd, like, most of them have been, like, kind of man-like or animal-esque. The only thing I can think of is this is like an underwater goat. <laughs> Giant fish thing. <laughs> Very descriptive. <laughs> Lion Turtle. Hey, you know what? Is that a reference to Avatar The Last Airbender? I'm actually thinking about building a PC pretty soon myself. Um, not that this laptop I'm currently using is bad, but um, it would be nice to have a dedicated PC for doing this kind of thing. Hammerhead Stegosaurus. <laughs> I'm going to call it that from now on. Hammerhead Stegosaurus is pretty badass, actually. What is he doing? He also, like, doesn't have eyes is so weird. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Hammerhead Stegosaurus might be my favorite name for this creature anyone has ever come up with. Okay. And... And then, you know, we just hit his belly. We're going to have to do this probably three times in order to kill this dude. Which is pretty good. Uh, where are you going, my guy? What is the AI doing? They don't run away. Main plot to this game? Yes, so uh, let me talk about the story for this game um, a little bit, because it's not been covered in super great detail um, like throughout the course of it, but there is a story. So, the main story of the game is that uh, there is a village uh, outside of these Forbidden Lands that we live, that we're currently in, and uh, the main character, whose name is Wonder, um, was in a relationship with a um, with a girl who also lived in that village, but there was a sacrifice done, and she was the sacrifice for some sort of ritual. Um, Wonder didn't accept that, um, and so he decided to take her body to the Forbidden Lands, which are legend, but it turns out the Forbidden Lands are a real place. The Forbidden Lands have a god by the name of Dormin, or Dormin, as um, he's usually pronounced in the Japanese um, translation of this game. And um, Dormen has the ability to bring dead people back to life, but he was going to do it on the one condition that um, Wonder kills all 16 of these Colossus. And in doing so, that would give him the ability to wake up this dead woman, by the name of Mono, by the way. Um, and so, Wonder has gone out on a quest to defeat and vanquish all of these Colossus. Um, however, there's a big question of morality in this game, which is, you know, what are what is the true intention behind getting rid of all of these creatures? 
and uh, is there really a valid reason to do it? And you know, what are Dorman's intentions? Is Dorman actually going to bring this this girl back to life, or is he doing it for his own selfish reasons? And we'll find that out um, once we defeat all sixteen of them. Now, over the course of this, you may have noticed that they're starting to become a little bit more. Um, volatile and dangerous, but that's not necessarily all of them. As a matter of fact, many of them um, are really big creatures that don't do much, honestly. So it's kind of interesting because it makes you think, you know, what's the point of killing these things, you know, when they're minding their own business? And it's kind of funny because Luke is actually bringing up a really, really good point in all this, which is that, you know, why are why are we attacking these things? They're minding their own business, and I find that it's it, it, it's a little harder to play this game um, than it once was for me because like it, it really has brought up like moral decisions. You know, what's the point of doing all this? Why take the woman when you can have his thick hammerhead Stegosaurus? Hey, man, that's true. Somebody draw some fan art. Um, yes, basically they are gentle giants. They don't do anything to hurt you unless provoked. Quite literally. Um, and there's actually one of them that we're going to find out in a little bit that can't even hurt you. It doesn't have a way to hurt you. So, I mean, that one in particular really makes you think, man, what am I doing to this creature and why am I doing it? Um, in a natural environment, that's up to speculation. Nobody really knows why they exist. Um, a really popular theory is that um, they were uh, originally Dorman. So basically, there used to be humans that lived in these Forbidden Lands, and they worshipped this god called um, Dormin. And we're pretty sure that these gods, or um, these people who worshipped this god, figured out that he wasn't a bad guy, and somehow, maybe in sacrificing themselves, they were able to bring Dorman down and split him up into 16 different pieces. Um, so, I have a theory that the reason why they're out there was because these are the different pieces of Dorman, and they have been strategically placed, although that's never been confirmed. Also, a little bit of story here. And, uh, Gubby, you're right. Uh, the internet is a weird place. <laughs> And, uh, all right, Gorilla, we'll see you in a little bit. Um, yeah, rip. <laughs> uh, I guess, yeah, kind of sort of like the Tin Tails in Naruto. Um, now, what you just saw there was actually um, the villagers who performed that um, ritual that killed Mono. Ah, yeah, so this is the one that actually just can't hurt us. This thing literally cannot do anything to us. Um, well, I say that. He couldn't kind of, but he doesn't have, like, a specific weapon that can directly damage us. And that that really makes this one feel pretty bad.
Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on yeah. now. There we go. Heck yeah, Alex. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Um, I would imagine that we're probably going to be done in the next hour or so, since we're kind of picking up the pace a little bit now that we got through some of the more bullshit ones. Although this one is a little notorious for being um, kind of a long-winded one. Um, back in the day, I actually had a different YouTube channel called uh, ENGN29, also pronounced Engine 29. And that channel had a very old yeah. Let's Play on it of the 2011 remake. Yeah, yeah. yeah the game does kind of make you feel that way. Um, yeah. it, it's kind of meant to make you feel bad. Yeah. But anyway, um, with the 2011 yeah. um, version of the game, I Let's Played that like back in 2014. And I remember it took me, I think it was 35 yeah. Yeah. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> 35 minutes for me to get through it um, just because this one is sometimes ridiculous yeah it they do kind of hurt a little bit and I think you guys are gonna like the last Colossus whenever we get there that one is super interesting it's um, really kind of sad because you don't really think of it as being a good creature because none of them necessarily are. They're more neutral. But the last Colossus looks a lot like a bad creature. But when you see what you end up doing to it, it looks a lot worse. So, like I said, this game kind of brings up some really interesting moral questions. And here we are. So this one is still not the biggest Colossus, but this one is big. This is a what I would like to call a unit. Now, the thing about him is he's not particularly hard to kill. The thing that makes him a little bit tricky is that he's constantly moving. So, basically, he's got these air sacs underneath him that are keeping him afloat. And our goal is to deflate them. And the tricky part is aiming the arrows in such a way that they'll actually hit those air sacs. We got him there. Um, you don't need to get them necessarily in any order. It's Rayquaza. <laughs> it is a little bit like Rayquaza, isn't it? All right, well, thanks for hanging out, Luke. Um, yeah, make sure you hit the follow button, and uh, I'll catch you next time I stream. My plan is to do it uh, either Wednesday or... Um, Potentially tomorrow. I'll, I'll figure that out. Probably Wednesday, though. That's my main plan. I want to take tomorrow to kind of uh, get the stream layout a little bit more organized and make it a little bit more my own. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Are there Colossus only in the Forbidden Lands? Yes. So, in these Forbidden Lands, there are only Colossus. Um, there are no other living creatures aside from Dormen and some lizards. You'll occasionally find a lizard. Oops. Shit. I messed that up. Oh, come on now. Let's not miss this opportunity. Oh, no. <sighs> Shit.
Okay. Let's try this one more time. Now we just play the waiting game for him to raise his wings back up. Yeah, like I said, I, I kind of feel like one of the main theories for this game is that there, there used to be humans living on here in this world, and they used to be followers of Dormen. So... It wouldn't surprise me much if... Um, so nobody really knows why the Forbidden Lands are forbidden exactly. There's, there's some... The story is intentionally ambiguous. Um, but I, I feel like it has to be forbidden specifically just because of Dormen. Wow, we only got to hit one of the weak points. Good lord. But yeah, if, if I had to guess, it's probably exclusively just because it, it has Dorman in it, and he's known to be a dangerous spirit. Oh, man, we just kind of ragdolled. Is he? He's somewhere. He's hidden underground, I guess. Huzzah! There he is. This is kind of a nice little trick. go as soon as he pops up just take out the balloons um the horse doesn't take damage he's technically um invincible he doesn't have a health bar or anything um that would have been cool if he if they did have it set up so he took damage though that would actually be really cool in there, bud. I didn't have very many horses die in Breath of the Wild. I think I had maybe two or three of them die. Oops. Shit, shit, shit. Come on, aggro. I will say, towards the end of the game, things start to pick up a little bit. Um... And that's like the most I'll say without well, spoilers, but things happen. Oh no! <laughs> you no, know, thankfully he. Yeah, he, he doesn't die mid-battle. Um, I guess that, that's a good point, actually. That would be bad if your horse died mid-battle. <laughs> well, especially against something like this, when you... It is essential to have the horse.
Okay. And on to the second one. This dude has three weak points, if you can believe it. He's got a pretty large amount of health. This dude is still not even the largest of the Colossus that we're going to see, unbelievably. There's still more left in the world that's even larger and more terrifying. There's actually another Colossus that I would argue is significantly more terrifying than this one. Yep. Got to do the flip. A little shaky, shaky. Let's see if we can make it before he shuts this flap. Oh, we are. Aw, oh, man, we're only going to hit him one time. We need to do it one more time. Dang it. <laughs> oh, yeah, and see, that's... That's kind of the other interesting thing about the bosses. They literally will only take damage on their weak points. Grout on then then Nick Nick Rosma. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. See, so yeah, I'm thinking for my next stream. Um, there's a reasonable chance that I will probably do Heavy Rain for a little while, and then I'm going to switch over to do a little bit of Persona 5, just my main campaign that I've already started. Um, Heavy Rain was by the request of uh, another one of my friends. He was super interested in seeing that, so I'll, I'll start a playthrough of that. And... Um, yeah, maybe I'll switch over then to just continuing my Breath of the Wild, or pff, not Breath of the Wild, my uh, Persona 5 Royal playthrough. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I don't know what my cat is doing. Okay, and oop. Bam. Um, so I didn't actually play the first Last of Us game. That's a game I was actually thinking about picking up and playing on stream if I was to ever, like, get popular enough to, like, warrant streaming something. Um, so I'm thinking about playing The Last of Us, and I'll definitely pick up The Last of Us 2 if I did that. Um, Cyberpunk 2077 leaves me intrigued. I'm a little worried about it. It looks like it's going to be pretty violent. Um, not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but I kind of worry about the direction they're taking it. It kind of looks like they're taking it in a direction that is just found largely just on violence. Yeah, I've heard The Last of Us is really good. Uh, hello, Gorilla. How's it going? Oh my god. Well, I fell off. Can I get an F in the chat for that? That was unfortunate. Huzzah. 
And one more. Yeah, so Heavy Rain is, like, really story-driven. Um, so if you're into story-driven games, you're gonna really like it. Um, but... It, it's got a little less gameplay as, as kind of a trade-off for it. It's much more, like, sort of... Um, based off of quick time events and choices that you make uh, in the story, which is my favorite thing about it. Not that I don't like gameplay. I appreciate being able to play a game that has good gameplay. Also, thank you for the Fs. Um, but I also really like the good story. So, like, one of my all-time favorite games that I played on the PS4 was that um, New God of War game because it had a really fantastic story. Um, it was really captivating and super interesting. Um, really long, though. Like, absurdly long. Again, not that that was a bad thing, but it was just a very long game. Oh, no, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. All right, one more hit. There we go. Persona 5 is very story-based as well, which is one of my favorite things about it. Yeah, um, I really love the story in Persona 5 as well. I, I really enjoy um, all, this, all the decisions that you get to make in that game, and I really love strong character development, and Persona 5 definitely hits the mark on that. I think the only thing about Persona 5 that I didn't... Well, it's it's not that I didn't like it, but it was so long that I found it a little hard for me to keep up with it at times, and I felt like I, I really got into the game, and then I would get out of the game for like a month, get back into it, out of it, and so on and so forth. Also, the music in Persona 5, especially the new additions in Royal, are absolutely fantastic, and I adore all the songs. Yes, I love... Persona 5 uh, music. It is so, so good. I need to play Enter the Gungeon. I have Enter the Gungeon. I have it on my PC, so that's something we could consider streaming um, at some point in the future as well. I love that game, but I'm very bad at it. <laughs> I'm very bad at Enter the Gungeon. I also really like Slay the Spire. That's a game that I was thinking about trying to stream at some point. Um... But there are other people who are already, like, super dedicated into playing that by themselves, so. Um, I might not do that one all the time. That might be just an occasional thing. Okay, and now we're on to number 14. I also have, I just haven't played enough of it. Um, it's it's a good game, but I think that I would probably need to sit down and like play it for twenty hours before I really knew how to play Into the Gungeon. <laughs> Where are you, horse? There you are. All right, so we're on number fourteen here. That means we have three colossi left. God dang it! <laughs> there we go. You guys have gotten to witness a, a pretty epic journey, but we're still not done. We probably still have a solid 45 minutes or so at least, I would say. Um, at least. I would say probably more than that, really. We might have closer to an hour. Um, I don't know. I might not... Mm, I'm going to try to finish it. I'll try to go through it as quickly as I can. Um, the end of the game is going to take a little while because there's some things that happen after the 16th Colossus. But, um, my plan is to sit here and finish this stream, or finish this game tonight in this stream. That is my plan.
I think the furthest I've ever made it in Gungeon is probably the third or fourth floor as well. So it's it's tough. I haven't played many games, unfortunately. Nine Inch in my game library is all Wii games. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I have this old Wii U sitting in my cabinet, and uh, the only reason I got it was actually so I could play um, Super Smash Brothers Four or Smash Four um, with uh, Captain Kid, actually. He used to be, or I, I don't know if he still is, but he used to be super competitive with that game, which is why he's really good at it. My favorite underrated game? Hmm. I have to think about that. What is my favorite underrated game? There's so many underrated games out there. Um, We Play is a pretty fantastic game, actually. Um, I don't know. Probably my favorite underrated game. You know, it's it's gonna sound a little weird because it's not really underrated, but it was given a lot of crap. Um, Final Fantasy XV is, is maybe my favorite underrated game because it, while the story is a little bit incoherent at times, and they released way too much DLC when they really should have put a lot of it into the main game. Um, I fell in love with the world, and I think that just being able to explore that big world would be really... Like, it's it's just really kind of impactful in its own way. I don't know if I'm going the right way, to be honest. Um, we're about to find out. In terms of smaller games... Um, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I know we are going the right way. I've heard No More Heroes is good, but I've never played any of them. Um, I'm definitely planning on picking up the remaster of uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, because I've never played that. Um... I don't know how any of the, like, system actually works in that game, though, like any of the battle system or, or anything like that, so I probably won't stream that one, um, but I'll probably just play that in my own time. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> Pretty underground. I like that, Alex. Make sure you guys um, hit the follow button, by the way, and you guys are uh, uh, getting notifications because I don't currently have like a Twitter account or anything set up for this channel to announce whenever I'm planning to go live. So um, just make sure you keep keep a little bit of a close eye on this channel, and I will try to have all that information set up by the next time I do screaming or screaming <laughs> streaming. Um, and I'm also going to try to make my streaming setup look a little bit nicer. It's a little bit of a mess. So this is a really spooky Colossus. Have you seen the Wario Wectoring? Uh, no, I have not.
All right, here we go. This is a spooky one. Sorry guys, I just got a message from somebody. Oh, it's <laughs> stupid. Yeah, it is a lot like the small dude in the desert. Um, and thank you a lot, Alex. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any uh, critique, I am super game to hearing it since I'm super new to this. Um, so make sure you uh, leave any comments that you think I need to hear. It is kind of a Cerberus looking thing, isn't it? <laughs> whoa, whoa, camera. Hello. Calvin, what are you doing down there? Calvin is my cat, by the way. They do look very similar, yeah. This is a very similar boss fight but it's done very differently because this one's like sort of an environmental challenge rather than your typical climb on them and you know deal damage to them kind of thing that makes this one really cool in my eyes actually if i'm not mistaken didn't cerberus have three heads I might be mistaken. Oh my god. I just got super unlucky. Nothing that I can't fix, but... What kind of cat do I have? I have a orange tabby cat. He is uh, a two-year-old male cat. He is uh, actually... Um, kind of a special cat because he has uh, feline HIV, which is a thing I didn't even know existed. But um, when I heard that he was going to be slightly less adoptable um, because of it, I was like, I'll take him because he probably isn't going to get, you know, much of a chance to get adopted with that. So I figured, you know what, I'll take this cat. If I can uh, get him to cooperate, I'll, uh, I'll grab him and show him to you guys. He's pretty cute. He's very large. He's a very, very large cat. It was a weird bug where if Warrior was launched, he would just fly fastly in any direction using the circle pad. Just going off of what you remember. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Hello? Hey, it worked. So the only thing about this dude that kind of sucks is that he just takes forever to kill. Like, by the time you actually get around to hitting him, he's not that dangerous. But, like, getting all the way to that point where he finally is, like, exposed and you can hit him, it's a little bit of a pain. You'd love to see him? Yeah, I'll make sure to grab him in just a little bit so you can take a look at him. He's cute. Do you have to break his armor? Yes, I do have to break his armor. Um, that's the only way I can damage him. And you have to take this really elaborate way to break his armor. These last few Colossus are definitely like the most elaborately set up of them. Um, because they require 
some sort of crazy technique to get to their weak points and this one is probably the worst of them just because you have to go through sort of this giant maze to do it. Okay. Yes, I know, Dorman. I've played this game before. Okay. Now, this is actually probably the most dangerous part of this fight. Believe it or not. This tower specifically. Because when he knocks down this tower, there is actually a chance that the tower will then, like, run into so it's going to fall down and then run into the rest of that and there's actually a chance that you can die because you have rubble falling on you so I got pretty unlucky there because he definitely could have killed me just now but I got very lucky he almost just smacked me there. That was very close. Okay. So. Now for the fun part. So, getting on him kind of sucks, but we actually got really lucky there. Normally, it takes way longer to get on him. The hard part now is going to be hitting him, because he does a lot of shaking. I just want to be able to hit him. Oh, what the heck? Interesting. I don't know how that happened, but I'll take it. Oh, there he is. Oh, he hit one of the towers. Gotcha. Ah. Got him. I swear the AI in, in hard mode is like legitimately much harder. That's part of the reason why it's taking me so long to beat this game. I really normally, like, do not have this much trouble. It also doesn't help that I can't really see what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. It never takes him this long. Come on, dude.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. We're getting off. Oh shit. We might die. Well, I would... You know, it's funny you asked that, Alex, because, uh... We just died. <sighs> How far back is it going to make me retry? It's going to make me redo the whole thing. Oh, no. I do have Mario Kart. So this kind of sucks. It's pretty lame. So now you guys just get to uh, see me do this whole thing again. So I have a question for you guys. Uh, if I were to stream on Wednesday, if since I died and I'm getting pretty tired, it's like, you know, almost 1230 right now where I'm at. Um, if I were to pick this stream back up on Wednesday from where we are, uh, would you guys mind if we finished the game on Wednesday instead? Because I'm getting pretty tired. Okay, so Gubby, you're cool with it. Really, you're cool with it too? Awesome. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Well, that makes sense then. Um, for you, Gubby. I bet you are kind of tired. <laughs> All right, cool. So what I'll do then, I'm probably going to start streaming a little bit earlier. I started streaming at 930 my local time. Um, I'm probably going to stream, start streaming a little closer to like 7 p.m. Um, on Wednesday, 7 or 8. Um, I'll try to announce that a little bit early um, through some means of communication. Um, and we'll start with this, then we'll move on to uh, either Heavy Rain or Persona 5. But I will show you guys my cat before I get off the stream. Wherever he is. He's currently sleeping. Thanks for the support, man. Super glad to have somebody super interested. Now, if I get unlucky again, then we're just going to call it quits. <laughs> but I, I would like to think that after that little mishap, I'm not going to get that unlucky. do that. <laughs> okay, where are you? There you are. Got to write the schedule down. Yes, what I'll do is tomorrow, I will write down the schedule and I'll have that available um, on my Twitch page tomorrow. Um, sometime before like midnight. I'll have that written down. Oh my god. Did you see me? 
I just ragdolled so bad that it wasn't even funny, but I managed to live. Um, yes, I will get the schedule written down. I'll have it on the front page of my Twitch account um, so that we all of you guys can see it. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> the quarantine is being pretty, pretty generous with the free time for pretty much everyone nowadays. But yes, um, I'll come up with something and I'll have it ready um, pretty soon. And it's probably going to change um, a little bit just as my life starts to get to starts to get busier with my full time job. This will definitely be a little bit more of a hobby slash part time thing. I'll probably go down to two days a week whenever I start working full time. Are you going to ever knock this down? Yes, you are. Okay. Whew. Again, sorry about that, guys. That was really dumb that we died. I guess that's what I get for playing on hard mode, though. see if I can get this to work. Don't forget about RKS. I'm sorry, I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, now we're finally getting somewhere a little bit. I'll just take whatever damage I can get after that shit I went through. Just another gamer obstacle. Yeah, I know. And who knows, I'll see if I can do something with uh, Captain Kid sometime. Oh, Rainbow Kitten Surprise. Yeah, I'll make sure to check them out. If you pop into my stream, I'll let you know what I think of them. I'll give them a full listen to their album tomorrow. Boy, we got really lucky here. Wow. We got so lucky there. Oh, all right. Well, cool. Oh, we did it. I'm going to go ahead and let this cutscene play out. And I'm going to go grab my cat. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the cat. Let me uh, switch it over to the host scene real quick. You guys can see him. This is Calvin. This is a pretty good picture opportunity right here. <laughs> Calvin is a great big orange tabby. Let me go ahead and stand up with him real quick so you can see him. There we go. There you go. There he is in his fullness. He wants to be let down, so I'm going to go and put him down. Gotcha. Well, have a good night, Gubby. We'll, uh, we'll see you later. And uh, Alex, I will. Uh, I'll see you next time too. I'll see you guys all next stream. So you guys got to see Calvin. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this. Um, I don't have a see you later screen, so I'll just put the uh, the BRB screen up. His name is Calvin, C A L V I N. Um, so I'll just put the uh, be right back screen up because I'll be right back on Wednesday. So I will uh, catch you guys next time. And I'll have that schedule posted tomorrow at some point so you guys can know when to show up.
and I will uh, catch you guys later. So have a good night. See you guys.